Nice to see you, Shelly. Welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. Been, you've been living, you're from here, but you've been living in uh, I've been Atlanta living here, but I've, yes, south for a long time. I uh, loved Cleveland, but had to get away from the weather, and we decided to come up in June because it doesn't snow in June up uh -huh. here. But I love Cleveland. So Just, when did you become a frugal, as you say? Uh, I was a frugal when I was about 22 years old. I used to work at WHK when it was on 55th, and then when they moved downtown, and I was making $8,000 a year, and um, Gary D. was making $100,000. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that name. Oh, of course yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> He was married to Liz. Liz so yes, right, the that's early right. Days yes, I remember Liz. And so I had to scrimp and save. And I lived downtown, had an apartment, had a Honda car, which was a total lemon, spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on my repairs for that car, and was ready to just have a breakdown because I had my checkbook was always overdrawn. And lo and behold, across the street from the studios was Salvation Army. And I walked in and fell in love with the place and just have been buying things from consignment stores, thrift stores ever since and have saved a lot and got out of debt and mm -hmm. have no debt. In fact, this dress is from the Salvation Army. Okay. And I got it. It's 4th of July-ish looking. I think it's terrific. Well, thank you. Price? Oh, I'm telling all prices oh, today. Oh, yes. No holds barred. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I got this on a markdown day at the Salvation Army. Anything white tagged was half markdown price. Markdown day at Salvation <laughs> yes, Army? Yes, markdown day. It's kind of like Kmart's Blue Light Special, <laughs> only it's better because it's markdown day at the Salvation Army. And it normally would have sold for $4.29, and I got it for half that, so $2.15. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Such a deal. And these dresses apparently are being sold at Pier 1 for upwards of $35 to $45. Mm -hmm. So, such a deal. Very good. Yeah. Well, have we got stuff for you to look at today? Wow. Well, Shall uh, we begin? One of your producers asked if I could find stuff that people have dumped on the side of the road. I don't know if you've ever driven down the road and seen just piles and piles of stuff. And some of that stuff looks interesting, and maybe you want to <laughs> stop. Well, maybe you don't want to stop. Often people I, put things out hoping it'll yes. be picked up. Do you ever want to stop? Do you ever see nice things like, you never want to stop? <laughs> I always okay, want to stop. stop. <laughs> I always want to stop, but my husband really doesn't want to stop. He's get, still kind of not into this as much as me, although he's frugal, but in a different way. <laughs> I went and scoured the west side of Cleveland okay. since I've been up here. I mean, this is a working vacation, okay? Oh, my gosh. And I have found some really wild things. Hospital gown. Oh, pretty. No, you know, I don't know. Why would wild? you want that exactly? Well, you might need that because you have crutches. Oh, <laughs> look okay. at these! I found these. Uh huh. They were. Um, these are. This is all in the trash. Just everything. Guard. This is all free stuff. Yeah. In fact, we even asked permission from the lady if we could have her stuff. We didn't just try to sneak it. <laughs> and uh, believe it or not. Yeah, what, would, um, what would a pair of crutches? Let's say you you uh, sprain your ankle. Mm -hmm. You need crutches, and you have to buy a pair of crutches. What would they cost you at the them. crutch store? Well, I know to rent them. I think it's uh, eight to sixteen dollars when we had to rent them per day. Mm -hmm. So brand that new. See, I've never had to know because we always get crutches out of the trash. I found a big. At least three, <laughs> three or four pair that way. I really don't know what retail prices are today. Always have some spare crutches. Yeah, on we hand. always do. We have aluminum, wood, plastic, whatever kind you want. Um, umbrella, a little sewing kit we found, uh, pine cone potpourri, oh, Christmas decorations. You don't even have to buy at the store anymore. Oh. Christmas trees, yeah. bulbs. People everything. always forget a few decorations on the tree. Yeah, well, you just go to your next door neighbor and smell that. That's potpourri. It smells like Christmas. Now, why would anybody yeah. throw that away? People are wasteful, bottom line. And mm -hmm. because they're wasteful, people that are frugal are just going to take advantage of other people's waste. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of wasteful people. Look at these. Throw Brand away. new children's boots. Aren't those cute? Yeah. Um, now, these are cool, Fred. You may want to try these on around those the holidays. Those would go with your musical shorts. Yes. Santa cool boxer Santa shorts. Cool. Yeah, aren't those nice? That would fit me. That's a nice trim waist. <laughs> <laughs> the years have been kind Now, to this was also free. Yes, everything I'm showing you yeah, is absolutely was free. free. Okay. Uh, this is a Richmond Brothers sweater, extra large. Isn't that gorgeous? Free. There's nothing wrong with this. Somebody just threw it out. Somebody just Didn't threw like it out. Didn't like it anymore. Didn't like it anymore. Um, <laughs> and mesh free. It's your size. Hey. Yes. <laughs> How did you know? I, <laughs> I did it, really. <laughs> anyway, a uh, little child's oh, velvet cute. blazer. This is real cute. Little infant jacket. It looks like mm -hmm. it's never been worn. Mm -hmm. This is an L.L. Bean t-shirt, or, or turtleneck. An L.L. Bean, as you know, is not cheap. Right. What do you right. think? Give, give me an example. What do you think that costs? Well, you know, again, it's real hard for me to tell you. you don't look at those catalogs I don't look anymore. at those you catalogs. Well, I just look in the trash. And with the L.L. Bean guarantee, you could probably send this back to them now and they'd and give you a full money, refund. And make some money. But I am an honest, <laughs> ethical person, and I won't do that. But I bet this is probably nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. I would say around there. And I showed you the new saw. No, brand I didn't new see saw. that. Uh huh. Buffalo brand. I don't know what that means. Maybe you do. Let me feel that. I feel that sharp enough to me. It does look brand new. It is. Yeah. Brand new saw. Somebody decided he bought this saw and was going to saw something, and he decided not to saw and threw it away. He he just he'd seen the light and he just threw it out and right. didn't didn't need it anymore. These are hush puppy 
women's shoes, hardly ever been worn. Uh, I know these probably go for 30 bucks in the store. Pumps, size eight and a half, maybe wear eight and a half around here. Yeah. And then I've got um, Bugle Boy jeans for her. And again, my guess is that these probably go for 20 to 30 dollars in the Would store. Not. Who's bought Bugle Boy lately? Do you have anybody who likes to shop that could tell us? Yeah, they're about, I think they're around 30 bucks. Aren't they? Okay. Um, a violin was found in the dump with the bow. I don't have the bow with me, but this was mm -hmm. free. Antonio Stradivarius. Someone. <laughs> Such a deal. We can auction it off later. Uh, <laughs> We've also found a, uh, well, my in-laws have found a cello. A cello? A Kirshner cello. Now, somebody just dumped it. There was nothing wrong with it. We had it appraised by my daughter's orchestra teacher, $400, over $400. Somebody just threw it out in the trash. Um, I have uh, family members who have been able to find all kinds of musical instruments in the trash. So if your child needs to something play, I need. Look oh, at this, an onion chopper. <laughs> yes, a uh, leather uh, spray, stain repellent, a set of coasters, perfectly good. Well, look at that. Hey, to go with the Christmas potpourri. Two Christmas Some holiday mugs. mugs. We can yeah. add that to our mug collection here. Yeah, <laughs> you could. And I have to show you what this is. You're looking at this. Can you see this? Looks like food. It is. This is called trash. I thought it would be in keeping with the theme of this morning. It's very good, though. It's very rich tasting. It's got, and you're, I hear you like to cook a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to add this to your next cookbook. It's Boy, uh, got um, good. graham cracker cereal, chocolate, raisins, peanuts. Uh, and you throw it in a bag, actually, here's the bag, you throw it in a bag with confectioner's sugar, uh -huh. and it's called trash. And you didn't get this on the tree line. I got this on the, yes, but this has been washed. All the shit <laughs> has been washed. You got yes. this in the tree line. Yes, you not, made not the, the food, food, though. Just, I made the food. Okay. I, I didn't find the cracker box in the, in, the, in the trash can. All the food is fresh, bought at the store. Okay. But it is very good if you want to try a piece. Should I? Okay. I figured, you know, it would go with the theme oh, somewhat. Oh, it is good. It's, it's very rich. Mm. And it makes about, I don't know, tons and tons and tons. Yeah, that's pretty mm. good. Yummy. And, you know, mm -hmm. that stainless steel bowl was found in the trash. Everything's been washed, though. Um, a little New Testament. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, more bowls, platter. This is, I actually spent a quarter on this. I went to the Memphis flea market trying to find some things, and uh, I was disappointed because I thought most of the vendors were overpriced. Mm -hmm. And I bought this for a quarter, and then somebody a wanted quarter. to... A quarter? Yeah, somebody wanted to buy it from me. When I was done, I was walking out with oh, it. What did they, they want to give you for it? Probably 50 cents. <laughs> I, but I thought, no, I got to use it for the show, you know. This is so. very collectible. Yeah, it is. Beautiful books. Yes, these. It's a table. Yes, this is a table. Uh, there's a glass piece to go on that right in front here. This that is, is something. This is like a little coffee table. But these are actual books that were sort of glued together. Yes. This is a very kind of a trendy idea. This. One, two, three, I don't know how many books there are. The books were bought for $3 at a flea market. They were polyurethaned about two, three times, and then they were all stuck together. With, uh, with a bolt. You can see down right. through there. There's the bolt two bolts stuck together, and that's what holds them together, and then a piece of glass on top, Just and be that careful. becomes a coffee table. And these are being sold at neighborhood stores, oh, upscale stores, for sure. $300. I've seen them. This sold for 10 wow. I mean, she made it for 10 mm -hmm. So that's a real neat idea. Uh, let me show you this hat box. This is pretty. This was a dime at a flea market. And what the gal did is she covered it with fabric. The fabric uh -huh. probably cost her, I don't know, $2. And she did both the outside and the inside. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. And you can put towels in it and do all kinds of things with it. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. And she just, the fabric was real cheap. The piping was cheap. So for 10 cents and a couple, you know, yards of fabric, she did something real clever there. Um, this. Instead of using wallpaper in your house, I don't know if you've done a lot of wallpapering. This is fabric. This is Waverly fabric. And all you use is Stay Flow liquid starch. You pour it in a bowl, get a brush, mm -hmm. brush it on your wall, take your fabric, and it just sticks to the wall. Mm -hmm. And then if you get tired of it, instead of having to peel it with wallpaper remover spray, it just peels right off. But the starch will keep it adhere. The starch the makes wall. it adhere to the wall. And that's a very cheap way to decorate your house. We have some other things to look at, but we need to take a quick break. Uh, we're uh, going to continue on, and maybe you have some questions or some suggestions. Call us up, 578-1000.